student athletes joined in protest from the legislature in Regina to small communities across the province. Don't take Hoopla away from us! And even to the teachers union office in Saskatoon. They're upset this weekend's provincial high school basketball championships known as Hoopla could be canceled if teachers sanctions aren't lifted. We haven't been to Hoopla since 2018. We worked our butts Before off this that. season. Why are you using us, all of us, as a ploy? Why? So, that's not the case. That could cancel my future in basketball. That could be the last, and last week could have been the last game of my entire life and I have no idea. It hurt because especially with our team, we've been playing together since we were grade six. So this is our last kind of dance together. So really hurt knowing that that opportunity might be gone. The union representing teachers announced they'll hold a province-wide strike on Wednesday and then withdraw extracurricular activities on Thursday and Friday, effectively canceling several student events. It's their decision to make. They don't have to, they don't have to shut down Hoopla. They can make a decision not to shut down Hoopla, and they can make a decision to come back to the bargaining table, and we respectfully would invite them to do so. STF President Samantha Beacott says the province has had months to find a solution to this problem. She's urged the government to address class size and complexity in a new contract or head to binding arbitration. The province has declined both. Beacott admits this latest round of job action could put a dent in their support. There is a concern about public perception of these actions, but our hope is that the public recognizes the, uh, the fight that teachers are having to get this government to make long-term commitments uh, to public education. It shouldn't be this hard. Organizers of Hoopla say if the sanctions aren't lifted by 3 p.m. on Wednesday, the tournament will be canceled. The STF is set to send 4,000 teachers to the legislature that day just as the province is set to unveil its budget, setting up what could be a heated midweek clash over education in Saskatchewan. Alexander Kwan, CBC News, Regina.